Hey everybody, what's going on? Josh here with Scrapyard Films, and today we're going to continue the Mix Play Interactive Button tutorial. Um, this is part 7, and so if you're jumping into this cold, you're probably going to miss a lot of things and not know where I'm at or what's going on. So I recommend looking in the description below and starting from the first video. It's going to explain what we're going to be doing, which our ultimate goal is to make an interactive main menu with buttons that have pictures and that do certain things, play sounds, show GIFs, and chat to the user. So this is what we got so far. We have a main menu that casual viewers can go in and VIP viewers can go in. And so what we want to do is give these buttons, because this just looks kind of default, you know, just text with nothing else going on. So what you want to do is go to your image hosting website, because these buttons have to be URLs. And so I have Imager and I have a bunch of buttons already pre-made that I created in Photoshop. So it's going to be very simple to do it this way. But the hard part for you is going to be creating these buttons or just using some templates off Google Images or something like that. So we're going to start with this one right here, Go Back button. So I made this and if we go to Direct Link, I'm going to copy that. Then we go to our DevLav board over here and we're going to go into our casual room, do our Go Back, click the arrow, scroll down to Background Image, Paste, and then Go Back. Now it's not going to change here, once you hit Save, and then you go back to this board itself. See, it's not going to change here as well. What we got to do is go to Firebot and then go to Change Board, Resync Board. And if it doesn't show up, this is what I was talking about last video. You have to disconnect Firebot and then reconnect Firebot and it refreshes newly put information on your DevLab board. So we go into Casual Viewer and there's our Go Back button. Covered by text with a red border and it's squished. So this is the part where you have to go back into Mixer, the board, and then change the size of this. So I custom made these logos and texts and pictures for squares and rectangles. So like a one to one aspect ratio and then a 16 nine aspect ratio. So my go back buttons are squares. And if I do that, hit save, resync board, disconnect, reconnect, go back here, main menu, there's my go back button. So what we want to do is, see we got text in the way, and this is what I was talking about on one of the earlier episodes, is if you named a button with text and you put text in it, it's going to overlap whatever your image is. So what we got to do, again, is go back to the board, hit find your go back button, click it, and then just add a space. Because if you have nothing there, it's going to give you an error and won't let you save it. So a space, hit X, save again and this is where it gets even more confusing if you're using just pictures for your buttons because they're all going to be blank looking like this and you got to keep going back and forth between your mixer board and we need to resync again disconnect reconnect casual viewer our go back button right there so this is where you got to just keep going back and forth between your board your actual buttons and your firebot so this is the more tedious part is getting these sizes and positions located correctly and so we have our go back button there which is how you create a button face and how you add a picture to that so that's pretty cool on that aspect now if we go back to the beginning right here you'll see i have a main menu text and then i have buttons here you can't create you can't just plop in a picture for no reason you have to actually attach it to a button and so as you saw in the very first video, everything that was a picture was a button. You just make sure you program that button to do nothing and cost nothing. And then if somebody clicks it, nothing will happen. And then so they click the ones that actually matter, then they go in here and they're good to go. So let's add another picture just in case you didn't get that fully. So we're going to do our air horn. How about we go to my images. I have an air horn picture right here. Direct link, copy, back to this button air horn, remove the text, keep the tooltip, border color, we'll keep it white, background image, paste it, and then we hit X to save, closes it, save it again, you have to save. We're going to resync the board, disconnect, reconnect, and then we're back in our mix play buttons, casual viewer, air horn, go back, air horn. Doesn't make any noises because we didn't program that with our main menu, but that's how you do that. Now it's really recommended that your pictures, when you make them, they have a transparent background. So you want to make it a PNG file with a transparent background. So then 
the background of this board is see-through. I also recommend making a template, like a square template in Photoshop, and then a 16.9 template in Photoshop, and keep all of your images and buttons and text inside one of those two sizes. So when you go, I'll show you an example of a long button. So this button right here is pretty long rectangle. So I'm going to direct link copy that, go in, back into my board. This is my air horn. So I'm gonna make it kind of a longer rectangle, like that. And then we're gonna change the air horn picture this V that save and then I'm gonna resync the board disconnect reconnect now the pictures are all updated click casual viewer and you'll see my long rectangle button isn't all distorted squished or stretched so that's the two different types of buttons you want to add that I recommend is a square aspect ratio button and a 16 9 aspect ratio button and then just keep all your stuff that way and that's going to wrap it up for this video. It's a shorter one than the rest because we're pretty much done. Actually, yeah, let me explain that. So from the very first video I showed you, I just had a ton of other buttons already programmed up doing their own specific thing. But I have shown you the bare bones, the spine of what I did, and you get to customize it yourself from this point on. We got you a main menu. We have you a casual viewer button. We have you a VIP viewer button. And if you wanted, you, didn't ne you don't necessarily have to have VIP viewer rooms, you can make specific buttons like this air horn button. You can have it show on the casual viewer, but only VIPs can press it. You can make stuff like that as well. And it's the same way as making only VIPs press this button. You know, that's the kind of same aspect of it. So you get to go crazy with it. And I hope that you learned a lot from this. It took me a while to kind of narrow it down and hone it in and figure it out but i'm hoping i explained it to you in this total probably hour long tutorial split up into different things uh, of how to make a main menu hierarchy with buttons that do specific things and have specific permissions make noises do gifs and so that's going to wrap it up for this video thanks for watching guys i'll be making a bunch more little ones that don't pertain to really anything just more like little things as i discover them and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. So thanks for watching. Throw a like and subscribe. Check out my channel. You may see things that you like on there. And I'll see you guys in the next video.